Hey guys, in this tutorial, I go over the new code snippets panel in Flash CS5. The code snippets panel is a new addition to Flash CS5. It actually works similar to the behaviors panel, and I went over that in a previous tutorial, so you can check that out if you don't have Flash CS5 to do this tutorial with. Anyway, if you're looking for a way to put in very simple action script into your movies, then the code snippets panel is great. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what it can do. So first, I'm going to start with a very basic example. Here, I actually have an older movie I did. And let's say, let's for instance here, just play this really quick. I'm just gonna hit enter. And you'll see that just a simple animation going on here. So let's say um, I want the movie to stop at frame 50 instead of going all the way to the end of the timeline to frame 75. Well, if we go to Window, Code Snippets, we'll bring up a new window and we can select a bunch of different things. And if we go to the Timeline Navigation, there'll be a Stop at this Frame option. So I'm simply going to go ahead and just double click that. And it'll bring up our Action Scripts panel to tell us what just went in. And there's a Stop command right there. And if we go down to our Timeline here, you'll see that it made a new layer automatically and put in the stop command or the action script. So now if we go to control test scene, we'll see this in action. It's playing and then it stops right where it's supposed to. So that's a simple example. Let's go ahead now and check out something a bit more complicated. What I have here is a rectangle on the stage and it's actually a symbol, a movie clip symbol actually. So once you have a movie clip in place on the stage, we're going to go up to Window, Code Snippets, and now we're going to go to the Animation section right here. And I'm going to double click on the Move with Keyboard Arrows option while making sure my movie clip is still highlighted. Just double click that. And of course, again, it'll show you what code was um, brought in when you do this. So then we just go to Control, Test Scene, and now, using my keyboard arrows, I can move this symbol around, just like that, really easy to implement. So again, if you're new to ActionScript, this is actually good too because you can go in here, see what code was put in, and you can then tweak it or learn from it like that. Also, most of these code snippets have instructions at the top, so it'll tell you how to go ahead and tweak this stuff or what's going on, like for instance, what um, the number five means in this code. Those particular instructions right here define that. So just something to look at if you're new to ActionScript and wanting to learn more. Okay, let's go ahead and check out our third example. So let's say you're doing a presentation of sorts and you want a custom cursor for your um, Flash movie. Right here, again, I have a symbol and it is a movie clip. So I'm going to just click that, go up to my window, code snippets, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double click the custom mouse cursor option, which is under the actions folder. Again, you have your code. Just go to control, test scene, and now you'll see my cursor outside the stage right here, but when I move it in, it becomes the movie clip that I just had on the stage. So again, really cool, simple stuff here. And then last, we're just going to do a simple animation with one of the code snippets. So again, this is a movie clip symbol. I'm going to click it and go to my code snippets panel. And I'm going to go down to the animation part here. And I'm going to go ahead and double click the fade out a movie clip option. And just go to control, test scene. And then as you'll see, he slowly fades out. And again, this stuff is pretty simple. The things I'm doing, these are just little simple commands. However, again, if you're new to ActionScript or you just quickly want to get something done, the code snippets panel is great. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time.